Hey, welcome back to Morning Joe. It's almost the top of the hour, 8 o'clock on the East Coast, 5 out West. It's so great to have you with us. Um, and uh, we've got a lot to talk about. Obviously, uh, this, the finale of well, what some people, is, as we've been saying this morning, jokingly referred to season one of the January 6th hearings. Uh, the finale tonight, expecting to see perhaps some of the most compelling information uh, coming out uh, about well, what Donald Trump did not do for uh, over three hours while Republicans were begging him uh, to, to take some some sort of action. Uh, also, Rudy Giuliani, uh, of course, uh, Giuliani being forced to actually comply with a subpoena. Something that's interesting that he said Bill Clinton had had no choice but to comply with a subpoena that he received uh, back in the late 1990s. Well, now he's learning that lesson again, that he has to comply with the subpoena. Uh, we're going to be talking about Steve Bannon uh, with uh, how many shirts he wore, uh, how many pins, how medieval he went uh, yesterday. Uh, actually, the prosecution rested after calling just two witnesses. As Dave Ehrenberg told us earlier, they're feeling pretty comfortable about their case. Uh, and, and also, um, we, we have, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, we're we're going to be talking uh, just about I just just how crazy uh, the Republican primaries are playing out. And and I've said it before and the polls are showing it now that if you have a party and you have a former president that are dedicated to uh, to helping get through the primary process, wackos and freaks and insurrectionists, you're going to do poorly in the polls. We're seeing it in Pennsylvania. Dr. Oz, my God, we're going to show you. Uh, a third party uh, ad uh, that that takes us through uh, his sordid history. Uh, you see it also what's happening in Ohio right now, a state that's getting redder by the 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 the, the day, uh, and yet Democrats uh, doing well there. Same same in Georgia, uh, and and you know uh, Mike Barnacle uh, yesterday a poll came out. Uh, it was Echelon Insights. It is a Republican polling outfit. Uh, and, and despite the fact that Joe Biden is in the low 30s uh, in the Quinnipiac poll uh, and bleeding support across the board, of course, he still wins head to head matchups in many polls with Trump. But despite the fact his numbers keep falling, Democrats numbers keep rising in the generic ballot test in this Republican poll, a seven point lead, Mike. I mean, how hard are Republicans having to work? to blow their opportunity in 2022. Well, Joe, clearly uh, the Republicans in specific primaries around the country that we're going to talk about a couple coming up are busily snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. I mean, they're going out of their way uh, to corrupt their chances of, of winning in a year when they ought to be winning. Now, that's good news for anybody interested in common sense, because that's the downside for a lot of Republican candidates. They bear no relationship to common sense, and voters perceive that.